Hey everybody, welcome back to Crazy True. We have two really interesting stories for you today. Tapeworms, bad enough, but to pull it from your own body? You're gonna wanna hear about this. Also, the Tide Pod Challenge, you've heard about that local restaurant in the area making edible Tide Pod recipes. You're gonna wanna see the looks of this. Is that a hair on that? Ah, oh, it's gross. All right, on to our first story. We're going to be talking about a man who pulled a five and a half foot long tapeworm out of his own body. He walked into a local community regional medical center in Fresno, California, and it was Dr. Kenny Bond who was on duty. This man walks in and asks the doctor, hey, I have bloody diarrhea, and also, can you treat me for worms? This is sort of an unusual request from a patient who walks into a hospital, and of course, the doctor was sort of intrigued by it. But then when the gentleman pulled out a paper bag with the worm in it, the doctor knew why. It's interesting enough that he walks in with a worm, but he pulled it out of his own body. Here's the story that the doctor shares. Apparently, the man is sitting down on the toilet, and the worm begins to wiggle its way out of him. Of course, the man thought, this is a big problem. I think I'm dying. He actually thought it was his intestines. So it keeps coming out inch by inch. He says, I thought my guts were coming out of me. By the way, that is a picture of the worm. The doctor rolled it up on this paper towel, uh, the end of the paper towel there. It was quite disgusting. As the man began pulling out the worm, it continued to slide out of him. And then he felt relieved once it was out especially because that wasn't his entrails coming out, but the worm itself. The doctor asked the man, why do you think you got a worm? I mean, of course, did you visit somewhere? Where are you going? And he just blamed his sushi habit. He apparently eats sushi every single day and uncooked salmon. A tapeworm can grow up to 40 feet in length, so this was a little guy. Not too bad. This is just our first food story for the day. We're going to move on to our second one. This one a little different, Tide Pods. I know you've heard about it, it's everywhere. Teenagers, young kids, 20 year olds, eating Tide Pods. It's the challenge that's been going around on YouTube and other places, and restaurants are taking advantage of it. But by making edible Tide Pod recipes, there is a local restaurant, pizzeria in New York City. This is Vinny's Pizzeria in Brooklyn. They are making an edible Tide Pod called the Pied Pod. That's right, the pie pod. It's a pizza-like pod, but it's filled with cheese and pepperoni, and then they dye the cheese on the top to make it look like a Tide Pod. Of course, this is very popular with the teenagers because they love their Tide Pods. Of course, you should never eat Tide Pods. In fact, YouTube is actually going on the offensive here and restricting any videos that are coming out with those who are eating Tide Pods. It's a very hard thing to do as people upload them almost every day every hour, but they're trying their best. Not only is this pizzeria coming out with Tide Pod recipes, but you can see we have donut recipes as well and other restaurants. Please, if you're interested in eating Tide Pods, don't. They're disgusting and they could kill you. Go down to the Brooklyn Pizzeria and get yourself a Pied Pod. I hope you guys found these two stories interesting. They are both absolutely true, absolutely crazy. Every single time we're releasing new videos every single week, come along and join us you found an absolutely entertaining channel on YouTube. It's time. Hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. You're going to want to stick with us. I will, of course, see you next time. What?